Even with the Hawkeyes lost this Saturday, many fans still had a fun filled weekend. Some of that fun though involved alcohol and local police say at times too much of it. Fox 28 News reporter Jason Hackett live in Cedar Rapids with what police and medical officials are saying about this past weekend's events. Jason. Tiffany and Scott, police and medical officials tell me that they understand for many football and drinking go hand in hand, but they want people to know their limits before things get out of hand. The pigskin is flying once again in Iowa City. It marks the return of that time-honored tradition of tailgating, which usually involves a couple of cold ones. As long as they're not a danger to themselves or somebody else, um, they're allowed to have that fun. In fact, Officer Mark Asplin, who works game days in Iowa City, says it takes a lot for them to step in. You have to do something outrageous enough to draw your attention away from the other uh, 50,000 people uh, to you. One fan did catch the attention of police this weekend, blowing a point three four one, more than four times the legal limit. At four times the legal limit, it can be very hard for them to function. A lot of people are not able to walk at that point, and sometimes it can affect um, people's breathing. Dr. Jennifer Lee says many don't know when enough is enough. And a lot of times people don't know specifically what that level is and furthermore they don't know what the, the strength of the drink that they're having. When someone crosses that level, Officer Asplin steps in using a field sobriety test as a gauge. He gave us an example of what that would feel like, first giving us a normal test, then giving us one with special goggles that recreate the feeling of being drunk. Where am I? The results weren't pretty. I failed both of those tests and I was only three times the legal limit. Officer Asplund says the consequences are much worse when you're four. Most people at that limit would be unconscious. It's, it's actually a, what I would consider to be a life-threatening situation. His advice in a nutshell is don't be that guy or girl. You're probably going to draw attention to yourself and the police will take the appropriate action from there. And that action may not just include public intoxication. Officers say you may be charged with anything from disorderly conduct to interference with official acts. We're covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids. Jason Hackett, Fox 28 News.